I need a, like another word to start off a um, video with than "all right, guys" or <laughs> "what's up, guys" or um, "what's the other one." Um, Uh, this chin mount is for the O'Neill uh, Sierra helmet, which coincidentally is the exact same mount, uh, and this time we've tested it because in the past we just assumed that the helmet manufacturer would make the same shell and there wouldn't be any difference. So we were like, yeah, the Climb Cryos Pro and the Climb Cryos Carbon were the same helmet, so they should fit the same mount. And we didn't test it, and that bit us in the butt, so we had to go back and do all that over. Anyways, long, sad story short, we decided to actually check and make sure that it works with the Sierra helmet, and it does. In this case, O'Neill was smart. They made two helmet shells exactly the same, the O'Neill 2 SRS and the O'Neill Sierra, which is the one I have here. This is their ADV helmet, and our mount works for it perfectly. Uh, some cool features, I mean, it's cut out around all the air vents. It is specifically made for this helmet and the two SRS in this case. And, you know, it's got this very kind of unique shape for the mounting surface. So it is designed specifically for the helmet. Uh, and not only that, it is also designed to fit um, a tilt back angle so that you can actually fit your camera in here uh, and get the tilt back angle that you need um, in order for it to get a parallel view of the horizon, which is kind of parallel with the top of the eye port here if you're standing. Since this is an ADV helmet, you're more likely to be sitting down most of the time. So like obviously you can tip the camera forward, but you do have this uh, distance set here so that you can get the tilt back angle if you want it. A couple of the other things that we did um, was uh, reverse the screw direction. So instead of it being from right to left or from left to right, depending on how you're looking at it. We changed the screw direction from most of the GoPro standard screw directions um, so that it would go in from left to right. And the reason is because uh, with the GoPro, right, the battery door is gonna be on this side. You have to push down on this tab uh, in order to uh, open the side door for the batteries. And if this is going through this way, the handle or the knob on the end of the screw uh, gets in the way of pushing this down and it makes it difficult to open the battery door. So in this case, uh, it just makes it easier to change out batteries. So one other feature that uh, this mount also offers is the ability to mount upside down. A lot of people ask about this because we all got into the habit of mounting our mounts upside down so that we could accomplish the tilt back angle because if you mounted it upright, like in the example of that kind of mask-like uh, mount that goes over the front, you can't tilt it back because it doesn't stick out far enough from the helmet. So we all used to mount our GoPros upside down and to allow us to tilt it forward a little bit and that got us the same tilt back angle or kind of parallel view of the horizon. So you can mount it upside down. The advantage of this would be, uh, yeah, it gives you a lower point of view. So it gives you better perspective on the terrain. The downside of it is if you look down, it might hit you in the chest um, and that could tilt the camera up. I personally don't run it that way. I find that it works better to run it mounted upright just because it's more protected and you get more reliable kind of better perspective and better footage. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, we've designed the mount around all of the air vents so all that stuff is clear. Uh, you can get a finger in here and you can change it. Whereas like there's uh, one you can buy on eBay. I'm pretty sure anybody who's interested in mounting a GoPro on the chin of their helmet has seen one of these at one point. It's just like this Bane mask kind of thing that clamps over around here and it just kind of masks over the front and you can mount your GoPro to it. Uh, it just kind of sucks because if you have these adjustable mounts or these adjustable vents, you can't get to them with that mount. And with our mount, you can just get a finger in there and, and usually be able to change the, the vent. So the last thing uh, I want to mention is these, these tick marks here along the outside. We did put these in as visual indicators for the tilt back angle. In this case, since it's an ADV helmet, you're probably going to be riding a bigger bike. You're probably going to be sitting down and you may want to tip your camera forward so you still get that parallel view of the horizon. Um, the tilt back angle is still there if you want it, if you are going to be standing up. Um, but in this case, we've, we've designed it so that you can get that visual reference and tighten it down and you just know where that perfect tilt back angle is and you can set it there and, and then just forget about it after that. So one of the questions that we get about these mounts is whether or not they work with media mod uh, and they do. 
Uh, they intended to put the screw in uh, the original way that all GoPro mounts are, are mounted from this right to left. There's no kind of, this, you can see this like little dished out part right here. Uh, you can get the camera mounted with the media mod on and it's actually easier because on this side they have, I don't know, something in here, a little bit thicker on this side, which it's not on this side and this allows you to um, be able to get your fingers on the end of the, the GoPro screw here, which does make it a little bit easier to get the screw out, which is ironic uh, because the side doesn't have that little dished out piece. You can't get the camera, or it's like you can't change the, the batteries on the inside anyways, because the batteries on this side um, and the, the, uh, the media mod doors on this side. So you'd have to take the camera off completely in order to change internal batteries. So what we do is we always run uh, external power, just run it from a USB-C cable um, through the media mod. But it is a nice feature of the media mod. Another nice thing about it is that you can set uh, in the camera settings, especially on the newer ones, um, the audio preference to the back of the boom mic here. And since, and this is specific to our mounts, but it is a nice thing about chin mounting, uh, is that uh, it is right in front of your mouth, so you do get that audio pickup that's a lot clearer. Um, and when you set the, the audio preference to the back of the boom mic, you just get that, that clear vocal um, audio a lot better. So a lot of people have been asking us uh, about how these uh, mounts are, are mounted to the helmet. Um, and we use 3M mounting tape. It's the same tape uh, that GoPro uses. So uh, if you're willing to trust the GoPro mount, um, it's literally it's the same tape. So the, the advantages of our mounts is that we use probably two to three times as much surface area between both sides. So our mounts stick a whole lot better. And they're, like I said, they're specifically designed to the individual helmet and they mount up perfectly. So you don't have to worry about there being gaps or anything like that where it's not gonna stick. It's just a it's perfect fit and you get the full advantage uh, of the entire surface area that we have provided for the mount. Some of the last things um, I wanted to mention is just chin mounting in general um, and why there's so many benefits to that as opposed to mounting it say on top of the helmet which with a lot of these newer helmets is getting harder and harder to do because they're getting so angular. Like back in the day, in the early days of, of motorcycle helmets, they were all basically just smooth. And now you've got these like crazy angles. I mean, look at this thing. It's like, there's so many ridges and like just shit going on that's so unnecessary. Like, I mean, what are these spoilers? Like, I don't know what this is, but it's just like a thing. It gives you more traction. Yeah, yeah, it gives you lift, so it makes you lighter. It's got a little scoop here, so it like lifts you so up. So when you jump, you can like really <laughs> yeah, jump yeah, there. yeah, it gives you gives you hang time. That's the that's why it has a fighter pilot. Right? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. That and take off. Boom. <laughs> <And> just... <laughs> that being said, the reason that we prefer chin mounting uh, is because it's the lowest possible point on the helmet while still being connected to your head, and it gives you this deeper field of view and gives you more perspective on the terrain that you're riding over. Whereas if you mounted it on top of the helmet, that eight to twelve diff inches of difference makes you feel like you're looking down on the terrain rather than getting kind of, you're like in it, you're immersed in it. Um, and that's kind of the nice thing about chin mounting. It also is a more protected place for a couple of reasons. So if you're mounting it to the side of the helmet, to the top of the helmet, you can't necessarily see it if you're riding through an area with a lot of trees or sticks or brush or something and you're going through a thicket. Um, there's a good chance that the GoPro could at the very least get knocked, if not completely get knocked off. Um, and a lot of times, like, I used to run it on top of the helmet, right? And the, the GoPro would get knocked, and it's like sticking, looking up in the air, and so you get like an hour's worth of footage of the sky. And it's also centered uh, on your field of view, too. So like, as opposed to the side of the helmet, you don't get that kind of off-center feel, whereas it being mounted, mounted center uh, of the helmet, you get that first person, like you're in the driver's seat kind of feel uh, to your footage. Uh, I also, I already mentioned um, the audio reception pickup, um, but there's another element to it and that's just the protection uh, when you crash. So uh, in my experience anyways, and this is I guess somewhat pretty subjective, like you could go over the bars face first into the dirt. For me, I feel like you're more likely to maybe turn your head to the side as you're going into the dirt, like you're probably not going to go just straight face first in. Um, so this kind of gives you that kind of tucked back out of the way um, position where you're not going to get it knocked out of the way. So what you're gonna get in the box is our awesome box. Uh, you're gonna get a mount. Uh, you're gonna get 
a alcohol wipe, you're gonna get um, a screw, and you're gonna get a couple stickers. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean the helmet uh, really well, just make sure there's no oily residue or dirt on there that's gonna keep it from sticking. Uh, but you're gonna wanna fit the mount up to the helmet and just figure out where it goes. And that's the first thing you wanna do is just make sure you understand where on the helmet it's supposed to go and how deep it's supposed to go into the helmet, right? Because it's tapered. Uh, and you wanna make sure that you mount it in far enough, but not too far, because if you get it in there too far, uh, it's gonna be tighter along this leading edge and that's gonna cause it to stick out towards the back of the wings. And that's just something that will cause it to not stick as well. So once the helmet's clean, you understand where it's gonna go. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do next is take it by the outside of these mounting wings, pull back on them, put it in as far as you know it's supposed to go and then release them and then press it down all the way around. Alternatively, and this can be easier on some helmets than others, what you wanna do is put it in there with the leading or the back edge lined up um, where you know it's supposed to go just from kind of a living aligned it and figuring that part out and then set it in there uh, once you've taken off the, the sticky pads pull it and then just kind of bring it around and set it in and then push it down that way um, that can sometimes be easier depending on the helmet you're working with um, just kind of those two things are from you know, mounting these on hundreds of helmets at this point are the ways that I found it works best to mount these uh, and get them lined up straight. They are so specifically designed that if you get them off or crooked a little bit, there can be gaps between the tape and the helmet. And if that's the case, it can cause it to not stick so well. So it's really important that you get these lined up straight um, and on there and sealed all the way around. Make sure there's no gaps and it's not on there crooked, otherwise it might fall off. But once it's on there, it's straight. Um, and you know it's mounted well, it should stay there, no problem. It should never have a problem falling off. Uh, if you like the videos that we're putting out there, uh, you can like this video and you can subscribe to our channel. Uh, Cause God knows this is definitely gonna be the video where we get thousands and thousands of views. So make sure that if you're one of those thousands and thousands of viewers, you click that subscribe button. We're gonna put links down in the description below. Uh, one of them is gonna be to our store, so you can uh, check out all the different mounts that we have. Like we've got like 50 of these in our mount or store so far, so odds are good at this point that we've got a mount for your helmet. The other link is gonna be to our Instagram channel, and that uh, you'll just be able to see like the POV footage and what it looks like to ride using or, or film using one of our mounts. It's just um, a good reference. It is very exciting footage. We do a lot of really dumb goofy stuff. Uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh.